Now with just one line of command line code, you can create a reference based report out of any topic that you want with combination of llama index, tally, and language model. Then let's go. Before we start, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so you will get notified for the next video. Thank you. All right, so now let's get into see how we can create our own research assistant through AI, but this time much more convenient, but much more complicated also. So what we're going to do here, let's say you have a topic to research about. You want to create a report about any topic that you have in your mind about a specific project, topic, company, people, so on and so forth. So what we're going to do when you have your topic to research created, this solution will start to crunch your research topic to multiple subtopics. And each of these subtopics, let's say subtopic one, two, three, will be a query for web-based search. Now, how we can search web for doing this research? For now, we're using an API called Travely, or sorry, Tavily. And with Tavily, I'm gonna show you that's basic, basically a search engine for LLM-based application. So before we go further, let's start talking about what is Tavily, and I will start continue talking about the rest of the flow here. So let me go back to my uh, browser, and here you go. Connect your LLM to the web. So what they are providing is you can actually start for free. As soon as you have any query created, it will start searching internet for you and give you an optimized answer that is good for giving them to LLM. And you don't need to scrap also any internet data. The search results are ready to go to be uh, inputted for any LLM application that you have here. But again, using Tavily here is a not is not a must thing to do, but obviously for this solution that we're looking for is a good fit. So going back to my um, flow here, now with sending all this subtopic query to Tavily, I will get the responses back and I will have the chunk of these responses to be added to a vector index by Llama. The reason is maybe some of these search results from all these subqueries are not relevant to my topic. So with adding this to Llama index vector here, then I can start to similarity search similar to rank to retrieve relevant nodes of subtopics that are relevant to my topic. Then with having all these filtered results, now I can give the all answers to LLM to give me the final report back. So let me show you how we can use this. Actually, it has an open source solution here is uh, the github repo and again the code that i'm going to run all this process i will add this to the discord channel on the reference section inside discord channel and the link of discord channel is below in video description all right so what you need to do to create your own gpt based research or llm researchers that is empowered by web results you need to just clone this repo again i will add this link and you need to pip install the requirements that come here with this repository that basically gonna store, uh, install uh, Tavily API, Langchain, so on and so forth. And then you need to you run this command line in terminal to create an environment a file, and you need to add your OpenAI key and a Tavily key that I just showed you. You can just get a start and create one inside this environment file. And then you just need to run run.py with the topic you wanna search. So let me show you how I did this and run the quick example in my uh, VS Code and also show you how the results gonna look like and maybe going through to some stuff on backend. Okay, so as you can see under Llama Researcher, I have cloned this GitHub repo. I have created my environment file that has my OpenAI key, which we're gonna use our LLM choice, and also the Tavily key as our search API, which you can replace it by any other search engine you want to. And for running this sample, we need to run this run.py, but let's see what it does. So here you can see this code technically identify what's the model I'm gonna use, which I had a GPT-40, the embedding that I'm gonna choose for creating word embeddings and doing that similarity search that I told you about. And then it just run the workflow. So workflow technically is here and include all the re uh, recent 
llama index workflow capability so what we need to do we need to start creating the sub queries and after creating sub queries we send it to tavoli and we need to process them so let me go all the way here there you go so we create the sub query and here we're just defining what's the llm engine we're going to use the embedding model and then we creating the sub queries we are going to have documents and results coming in from the sub queries which is the step that i am actually focusing on getting the relevant urls and making sure we capture the urls that we visited to not duplicate our search results and then we need to compress that means we need to filter results that are relevant to my topic that's why we are doing similarity search and creating llama index and then we combine the filtered results back to create our chunks and lastly this is going to write my report in pdf format so how we use tavoli uh for doing search um, on internet here's the code as you can see it is loading my tavoli api key from the environment file that we have and then it just goes through all the queries that you have one by one get the source and the title and the context of that search result uh, subquery.py here is just a prompt that we use to tell LLM to generate queries. We're going to tell that create maximum, for example, five um, iteration of queries that are Google search queries. And here is the date of today. And you need to also separate the subqueries by comma so we can later on split the queries to send it to Tavoli, which is technically the code that I showed you. And then compress.py, this is actually the one that does similarity search that use llama index. So it's using vector embeddings as we discussed about doing the top 100 similarity results we're going to combine. And I believe we went through all the code. And lastly, report.py, this is the one that create the final report of our search results. As you can see, it has a prompt that says that, okay, the user asked about this question, do not report more than this amount of words, and this should be how your report written. It should be a specific, detailed, make sure you add the references. This is the place you can certainly come and modify that to make sure it will give you a PDF report in a way that you want and you specify, and that's it. So, all right, this is all about the codes on the back end. And here's my terminal. Again, I did the clone installing, pip install, everything I wanted to. And let me see if I can show you down beneath here. There you go. How we can run this. So make sure you are in the same path and you just go to python run.py and the topic that you want to search. Let's say I want to know more about MJI YouTube channel. I was actually curious to see what it can find and generate the report for me. So I hit enter. As you can see, it's creating sub queries for me. So five Google search queries for MG YouTube channel has been created. We can see, for example, it is looking for the reviews. MG AI YouTube channel reviews 2024. So it's trying to, for example, understand more about what is my channel. Or MG AI channel content quality. This is another search. MG YouTube channel subscriber count September 2024 because now it's September time that I am actually calling this topic. So you can see there are a couple of different queries, MG AI channel feedback. So it's trying to scrap all internet with Travely.py, uh, sorry, Travely API to get the results back, compressing them, filtering actually the ones that are not relevant. And it says, all done. I'm waiting for creating a report for me. And the report will be written in report.pdf in the same location that you have this GitHub repo cloned. So I'm waiting for this to be generated. I'm going to replace that. There you go. Uh, MGA YouTube channel, a compressive report. So I just ran it on fly. I'm so curious to see. Oh, interesting. It has also table of content. You can see it has hyperlinks, introduction. And let's see, to channel a special credit AI generated, which is correct, so it sounds like it got the correct answer. And subscriber growth, viewers feedback, interesting. And if I just go all the way down, you should be able to see the resources, the references that it used to actually grab my report. Again, you always need to check, make sure the LLM when it generated the report correctly used the references but think about it right now with just one line of code and writing down my topic i was able to create a nice pdf report that i can modify that how i want to create it with the prompt and with all travel api which is perfect for getting curated responses without scrapping internet by myself and be up to the point on what i need with 
advantages of LLM. All right, that was all about this video. If you enjoyed, I would be very thankful for clicking a like icon and write down your comments what you think about this. All right, thank you. You will reach the highest level of being if there is one question left in your soul. How can I be helpful? Dream big, my friends. Believe in yourself and take action. Till next video, take care.